Hello, and welcome to the Best Today podcast. I'm Shante Grant, and today we're talking about dun 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 distractions. And hopefully, I'm going to add a piece to this conversation about distractions that you have not heard before. I sat down thinking about distractions. I talk about them a lot and have a lot over the last seven years that I have been doing this great work. Um, and I was thinking I started writing out like what I wanted originally to talk about and it came into these three categories these three types of distractions and for me it was something refreshing and new so I want to offer it to you today of course before we start talking about distractions and these three types that I want you to be aware of um, and how they play into your life let's start with you know my favorite and yours I hope definitions because I want to make sure when we're using these words we're very clear on what it is we're talking about. So the very first thing is what are the official definitions of distractions or to distract? And then, of course, I'm going to give you my definition. I always like to give you my definition because I think it breaks it down in a way that makes it relatable to your purpose and why you're here and why I'm here. And that is to help you to optimize your time and live a healthier, more intentional life. So officially, distractions are uh, a distraction is that which divides the attention It prevents concentration, it diverts its division or it creates division or disorder. And to distract is to draw away or divert the mind or attention. So I think we can all agree we are not looking to live a life that invites in distractions and they are always knocking on our door. Like right now, I don't know if you can hear that. I just knocked on my desk like that's distractions knocking at your door probably right now while you're even trying to just listen to this podcast. Um, Distractions are all around us. But what I want to help you do is to recognize and define what they are because it makes it much more, um, it makes you much more capable to then block them and remove them and acknowledge them when they're present to um, show them the door, basically. So I define distraction as anything that does not align with who you are and what you want. A distraction is anything that does not align with who you are and what you want. So here we are yet again. If you're if you're not new here, um, you've heard me talk about this time and time again. But here we are yet again, reinforcing the importance of understanding who you are and what you want. And as a side note, if you need help with this, you know, I've worked with women in their 60s um, and under who have found that they needed help with this. So there, this is not just limited to people in the younger age, a uh, younger age bracket. Um, if you need help with getting clear on who you are and what you want, and even if you think you know, let's sharpen that. Um, I want to invite you to get yourself today in the Best of Day community where I have our exclusive curriculum created to help you walk through getting clear on who you are and what you want. It's top notch. It's so good. And it's at your own pace. So again, you can go to bestdaycommunity.com today, joining our exclusive private community and get that exclusive content, that curriculum to help you. Okay. So what I want to do is break this down, these distractions by three types daily distractions, seasonal distractions, and global distractions. Let's start with the daily distractions. So daily distractions. One of the reasons that I teach and everything we create at Best Today reinforces you to plan every day, the day or night before is so that you know what matters in the next day. Something can be a distraction today that wasn't a distraction yesterday, right? Because what you want today can be different than what you wanted yesterday or what was most important yesterday. You know, where you want to spend or you need to spend your time and energy may be different today. So understanding the confines of each new day is really important in being able to identify the distra- those daily distractions, right? So by defining your day and the boundaries and the parameters on it, you're also defining what your daily distractions may be. Anything that does not align with who you are and what you want in that specific day or in the specific times of that day are distractions. For example, right now in this moment today, the most important thing that I have defined in my best today guide is podcast batching. It is sitting in this seat talking to you. Um, That is the focus for today. And in this specific moment, I'm literally podcast batching. 
So if my phone rings and it is someone who just wants to call and say, hey, girl, let's chat it up. How's life? And that is a distraction because in this moment today, it, it does not align. And in this specific time with what I want to do, which is to finish batching these podcasts for the next month or so, right? That is the focus today. So that is the importance of really honing in and understanding what your daily distractions are. It's the things that do not align with who you are and what you want in this day. And that changes and well can change every single day. Now, when we go to our seasonal, so like daily is kind of small. Look at that one on the bottom, right? Seasonal gets a little bit bigger, kind of a broader time frame. You've likely heard me say that living an intentional life is where your time is a reflection of who you are and what you want while also honoring the season that you're in. It's so important that part about the season of life you're in. Seasonal distractions are those distractions that don't align with who you are and what you want in your current season of life. I see these a lot. A lot of comparisons, um, of, oh, her life looks so great over there. And, oh, I'll be happy when... These are not only comparisons, which I have an excellent episode about comparison, episode 35. So this is episode 75. What 75 you're listening to right now? So tap back. uh, What's that? 40 episodes. Tap back um, to episode 35 or scroll down to episode 35. Make sure you make go and save that one now. Hit pause, save that one now. Go back and listen to that episode as well. We'll also link it in the show notes for today as well. But episode 35 is all about comparison. Um, But comparison is also a distraction, especially when you're looking at something that doesn't even reflect and honor your current season of life. And just as a side note, a lot of times those comparisons don't even reflect things that you want or that reflect who you are, which again, come on, if it's not a reflection of, it's a distraction, right? Now we go back to our definition. So what I love to invite you to do is to write out what are those seasonal distractions that may you may find yourself um, looking at right now? Another way is to write out what you want and who you are in this season right now and what matters most and everything that's not in that box equals a distraction. So we've got our daily distractions, seasonal distractions, which not, are not based on winter, spring, summer, and fall. They're based on your season of life. And then if you go over that, if you're thinking about this visually, above both of those two things is a bigger, even broader bubble. And those are your global distractions. You know, our global distractions, these are things that don't align with who you are as a human, as a person, who you are inherently, and what you want globally for your life, right? These may be things like, you know, maybe health is like you want to be a person who is mentally healthy, physically healthy and well, you want to be a person of integrity, Things like that. These things that define who you are, they're true about you every day, every season. And once you're clear on those things and what doesn't align with that, you've got your global, it helps you to be aware of your global distraction. So I want to be very clear. So your daily distractions can change. What was a distraction yesterday may not be a distraction today because your day to day and what you want to accomplish and what matters most changes. Same thing for seasons. In one season, this thing over here might be a distraction, but in another season, it might not be. When we're talking about global, these are the things that are true for you, regardless of the day or the season of life you're in. They're always true about you, right? So identifying these distractions are really important um, and maybe sometimes a bit easier because they're always true about you. Um, so how do you recognize a daily, a seasonal or a global distraction in your life? First, by getting clear on who you are and what you want in each day. And that's what we get in our best today guide or when using your weekly preview pads and really getting clear on like, okay, here's what tomorrow looks like when you're planning your next day and your season of life, right? And globally, everything that does not align is a distraction diverting you away from the life that you want. Again, daily, seasonally and globally. I'm going to give you some resources for all three as well. Three things that I want to recommend to help you. The first is the Best Today curriculum inside of the Best Today community. 
It's created first and foremost to help you get clear on who you are and what you want. Each lesson is less than five minutes. I think some of them are less than three minutes. They all may be less than three minutes. They're very short and you have time and space to walk through each lesson at your own pace. This is going to help you with the seasonal and the global distractions, identifying what those are because you're going to get really clear on seasonal and global definitions or like getting clear on like who you are, and what matters most globally and seasonally for your life right now. Resource number two is the best today guide to help you walk through this in real time, guided by the pages of the best today guide and walking alongside us in the community because your first month in the community is free when you purchase the best today guide. This is going to help you with your seasonal global and daily distractions, right? So this one is a big shebang, all three, because inside the best today guide, we walk you through in those first pages of really getting clear on what matters big picture for you and seasonally in this current season and in your day to day. So you're gonna get all three in the best today guide. And then the third are the no more distraction pads, which are available on our website at besttoday.co. Same with everything else that I've mentioned here. You can find all of it listed there. Um, Under the planning and routine products is where you'll find the no more distraction pads. This practice is included in the best today guide. But if you're not using the best today guide, it gives you a place and some people use it in addition to the best today guide as well. It gives you a place to note the distractions in your day to day so that you can address them at the end of the day or the end of the week without allowing your day to be pulled left and right by distractions. Now, this one is to help you with your daily distractions. The curriculum is going to help you with seasonal and global Best Today Guide, your daily, daily, seasonal and global. And the no more distractions are going to help you with your daily distractions. Okay, I feel like I said a mouthful, but I wanted to keep it short because I also want this to be an episode you can save. Remember, you can save podcast episodes and you can come back and reference them as often as you need. A distraction is anything that does not align with who you are and what you want, whether that's in the day, in the season of life you're in or globally. I'm so excited to continue this conversation with you over in the Best Today community, our private community exclusively created to help you live a life of intention and to give you a safe space with like-minded women who are doing the same. Inside, you're going to find encouragement, support, live calls, co-working hours, guided journal prompts. Oh, and our new Taco Tuesdays, where we talk all about building that taco, reviewing your routines that you learn how to build in Right Now Routine. So much more right there at your fingertips in the Best Today curriculum. And all of this is available on our online app or you can assess online or on our app available on both Android and Apple devices. So join us today by going to besttodaycommunity.com. And remember that your first month is free when you purchase the Best Today Guide, the online program bundle, or the starter bundle. But we hope to see you in there starting today. At Best Today, we exist to help women just like you be your best one today at a time. So each week on the podcast, we are going to highlight your stories and your voices. So let's see what's in the inbox today. Best Today, I cannot rave enough how wonderful Clean One Room has been for me the past two years. I can't believe I'm approaching the two-year mark using this amazing program. What I love most about it is that it allows me to consistently maintain cleanliness and organization in my home. My kitchen has been clean for the past two years. It never gets messy, ever. I followed the steps in the system and I'm able to keep them up. All the other rooms in my house stay clean too, but the clean kitchen for me is just the best. I feel lighter. I feel easier. My kids have less chaos when they come in the kitchen to help me prepare meals or just hang out while we get food ready. It is wonderful. This program has completely revamped how I clean and it it's just amazing. I recommend it to anyone who asks about cleanliness, about keeping things together and consistent. It really, really streamlines the process of keeping your spaces clean and involving the other members of your household in maintaining those spaces and really providing agency and ownership to them 
over their own spaces, um, which again, just makes everyone's lives easier and gives us all the ability to focus in on what really matters. The time we get to ourselves, the time we get with our families, the time we get to the people we share our lives with. Thank you so much, Shante, for creating this wonderful program, and I can't wait to continue using it for years to come. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Mary, for sharing. What I love as we celebrate two years of Clean One Room is that we are hearing from customers who order Clean One Room the week it came out, the day it came out, and saying the places and spaces that we clean one room using the process taught inside have been maintained for two years straight. Y'all, it's no magic. It's nothing. It's just literally a system that works, but you have to do all the steps. Recently, we had someone in the Best Today community who said, oh, I did clean one room, but I kind of skipped one, that one step. And I'm not seeing the results I want. It's kind of getting back junky. And everyone said, go back, do the steps that you're supposed to and watch what happens. And she did. And now she sees the results she was looking for. So I want you, if you are not in Clean One Room, to get it in your hands today. It is a short program. It teaches you exactly how to clean one room and stop cleaning your whole house every weekend, every other weekend, every day, and just clean one room at a time and learn how to create a reset routine around it. You can learn more and get it at cleanoneroom.com. That's cleanoneroom.com. Mary, thank you so much. Mary is just a huge champion of Clean One Room. And I mean, wouldn't you be too? Has your kitchen been clean? for two years straight dramatic pause (laughs) so again you can go to cleanoneroom.com to sign up right now and you are less than an hour away from knowing the exact method i teach you the 4321 to clean one room at a time and set a reset routine around it again cleanoneroom.com i'll see you inside Thank you for being present with me for this week's episode of the Best Today podcast. Until next time, remember that you are capable and you are worthy of being your best one today at a time and you have everything you need to have everything you want. So go on and shout it out as you live it out. This is what my best today looks like. I'll talk to you on the next episode. If you enjoyed this week's episode of the Best Today podcast, you are going to love the Best Today guide. Our Better Than a Planner guide teaches you how to get clear on what you want, identify your self-destructive habits and behaviors, and intentionally create space to prioritize yourself every single day. Don't go the journey to being your best one today at a time without the Best Today Guide. See inside its pages and order yours today at besttodayguide.com. Even better, when you order the Best Today Guide, we gift you with your first month free inside of the Best Today membership. So what are you waiting for? We're giving you everything you need to trade busy for intention. Go to besttodayguide.com and order yours today and join thousands of women across the globe proclaiming each day, this is what my best today looks like.